again and again in the Narnia books. Lewis makes one or other of his characters say of Aslan, he's not a tame lion, you know. Whenever people express surprise or shock at what Aslan's doing or failing to do, somebody says, well, he's not a tame lion. It's about being ready to be surprised by God, certainly. But it's also about remembering that what God asks of us can be, as you might say, really wild. God doesn't just ask us to do safe things, ordinary things. God asks us to surprise ourselves. God asks us to go well beyond our comfort zone and discover that we are capable of more than we ever knew, capable of more generosity than we ever thought, capable of more truthfulness than we ever thought, capable of more joy than we ever thought. In some of his letters and some of his other books, Lewis says how difficult it is when somebody from a sort of ordinary Christian family suddenly feels the impulse to go and do something wild, to go off and be a missionary, to be a doctor in the Amazon, to be a monk. And the rest of the family say, oh, why do you have to take it all so seriously? Why can't you just be ordinary and tame like the rest of us? And the only answer seems to be, well, he's not a tame lion, you know. God is likely to ask us to do extraordinary things. And when God asks us to do extraordinary things, part of the message is he's giving us the capacity to do extraordinary things. He expects more of us than we could imagine, but he gives what he expects. St. Augustine, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, said that our prayer to God should be, give what you command. Give us the power to do what you ask us to do and then you can ask whatever you like of us. And that's the same sort of message. If our religion were just about God making demands of us, and that was the end of the story, then we might very well feel deeply depressed. We're always being asked to do more than we really can. If our religion were just about God never asking us to do anything difficult, how very dull that might be. But the truth is more exciting. He's not a tame lion. He asks us to do the extraordinary, and he gives us the strength and the vision to do it. And so, again and again, in the Narnia books, we see people who are stretched beyond what they thought they were capable of. So often in the history of the church, in the history of Christian faith, that's what the great saints, the great heroes of the faith have done. Not getting everything right, not getting all the right answers, but simply being ready to launch out into the deep, do something fresh and new and wild for God.